We are officially at Orlando Airport, MCO. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Definitely are gonna be buying some pins. I did not expect to get such an amazing view. Hi everyone, how's life? And welcome to a travel day, but not just any travel day, a Florida travel day. It has been a few years since I was last in Florida, Orlando. My last vlog series from Disney World was in February of 2020, literally about a month before the park closures because of course COVID. Um, but yeah, my first time back post the pandemic. I'm very much looking forward to it. I am currently at Heathrow Airport, Terminal 3, and everything went really, really smoothly. I am flying with Virgin Atlantic. Um, and yeah, the security, very, very smooth, very quick, probably only took about five or ten minutes despite there being quite a lot of people there. So great organization actually at Heathrow. Checking in my bag was very easy. And yeah, and now I'm just waiting on the other side for my gate to be shown. In case you're wondering, by the way, I only checked in one bag, which was my large suitcase, but I also have this small carry-on. It's actually literally very, very small, probably one of the smallest carry-ons I've ever owned, but it's quite um, wide, which makes it really easy because you can fit quite a lot of things in there. I've got my laptop in there. And then apart from that, I've also got this small camera bag so that I can put you guys in there. So yeah, nice and easy. Small carry-on bag, small camera bag. And this camera bag is like I said, literally so for my camera, for you guys. And also I've got my passport in there and just little bits and bobs like um, hand gel, things like that. We haven't got too long until my gate is shown, only about another 10 minutes or so, because the flight is at 11.30 in the morning. But whilst we're here, I thought I'd quickly give you a pan to show you some of the shops that they have going on here at Terminal 3 in Heathrow. They've got a super dry here. They've got your sushi in terms of food options. There's also a pret on the other side, which was very, very popular. There's also wagamamas right next to the pret, so on the left-hand side of it, which if I'd come here a bit earlier, or if it was a bit later in the day, obviously lunchtime, because I feel like it's still morning. It's not really time for wagamamas, although I think they also do breakfast food here. Actually, let's have a look. This is the menu for breakfast. I've never had a wagamamas breakfast, but you can see what they serve here. It's quite cool. They even got a full vegan breakfast option for 12 uh, pounds 50 and um, yeah maybe one day I'll have to come and actually try the Wagamama's breakfast but there's plenty of restaurants and shops to enjoy as you're waiting for your flight at Heathrow Terminal 3 there's even a Harrods here so if you want to buy a nice souvenir for yourself or a present for somebody they do have a little small branch of Harrods here and they seem to have quite a lot of Easter stuff going on here because it is the end of March at the moment oh yeah I don't think I actually mentioned today is the 22nd of March 2023 big shout out to my friend Rebecca it's her birthday today but yeah this is the day that I'm flying 22nd of March and I think I might get myself a croissant or something from Cafe Nero over here and perhaps a bottle of water as well for the flight well I got my bottle of water and a croissant and looks like we've got our gate number for Orlando and it's 32 and I think that's about a 20 minute walk so we should probably start going soon Well, I am at the gate, gate number 32, and it looks to be quite a busy flight. I am flying economy, which is what I normally tend to do when I'm flying to Orlando, Florida, but I'm also a solo traveler. So I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to film of the flight, but I'll try my best. Also, if my face is a bit wet, it's because I literally just went to wash my face. Um, so there you go, <laughs> let's head into the flight. My name is Kieran Kaur, it's my pleasure to be your captain today. With me in the flight deck today is Senior First Officer Mike Hornsby. Sarah Maloney is our flight service manager. She's in charge of our fantastic crew that we've got on board today. We've got 10 cabin crew in total looking after your safety and comforts all the way to Orlando. Off departure, uh, we're heading out straight across uh, pretty much down the M4 corridor, UK from there out towards South Wales, uh, across the Bracken Beacons, across the Irish Sea heading out towards uh, Wexford in Ireland and New York and then all the way down to Orlando. Our flight time today is nine hours exactly and we've got a, just under 4,000 miles to run so we should be should be pretty quick today. We are expecting pretty good and smooth flying conditions on route. No, uh, no turbulence expected however it can be uh, unexpected occasionally of course and we would recommend if you are seated just leave the seatbelts loose and fasten just in case we need to put the belts on. But for now sit back, relax, thanks for choosing the flying version and enjoy the service. We are about three hours into the flight, we've got 
just over five hours left it's gone quite quickly to be fair and the seats are okay obviously it is economy so not much space and i do have somebody sat next to me which is why i haven't been filming too much but um i think i'm gonna probably sleep for the rest of the journey um they haven't turned the lights off yet because technically it's about 3 p.m uk time and then probably around 9 or 10 a.m florida time so it's not the time to sleep yet but um i've enjoyed wow it's very sunny i was about to say i've enjoyed looking at the at the views from here but yeah just a quick little update lunch was really nice i enjoyed it uh, they had two options one was a chicken tikka masala or a vegetarian mac and cheese i went for the chicken tikka masala i would have probably enjoyed both though um, the girl next to me actually solo traveler she went for the mac and cheese and that looked good as well but um yeah my chicken tikka masala was surprisingly good really really uh, flavorsome which is something that i haven't really experienced much with uh, virgin atlantic food um so i was quite surprised actually pleasantly surprised considering it's economy food as well landed the local time is 4 30 p.m so we actually landed about 45 minutes or so early which was great the entire flight was only nine hours long amazing it did go by pretty quickly as well to be fair i slept for the most part of it the first half of it i slept and that's a big tip that i have if you want things to go quicker especially long flight journeys just sleep i normally try and make sure i'm tired before a long haul flight so that i'm you know more or less guaranteed to be falling asleep even in an uncomfortable seat like just an economy seat here with not much space you know with not being able to lie down or anything when you're tired you're gonna sleep and that helps a lot at least in my opinion it does for me and then the last couple of hours of it i just I played games on my phone i looked out the window it was nice to have a window seat we are just waiting now um obviously to uh get off the plane but it was, a, it was a nice flight a very very full flight like i'm pretty sure every single seat was taken when i booked my seat when i chose my seat about a couple of months ago there was nobody next to me and then i checked about three or four days ago again no one next to me and there were also a couple of other seats that had like single seats um empty but then i checked last night and it was completely full so busy flight um like i guess loads of people want to go to orlando at the end of march 2023 i guess because the easter holidays are coming up as well but um yeah the flight was nice uh, really really comfortable as well no turbulence just a very nice flight also shout out to the people that work it virgin staff always fantastic so big shout out to them that was our plane over there lady love it says under it that was honestly such a lovely flight i really enjoyed it and it feels so weird to be in orlando it's been like i said three years three years and about a month february of 2020 was the last time i was here with my aunt and cousin and this trip was actually meant to happen earlier than march of 2023 but as you can imagine with everything that's been going on in the past few years um things have had to be postponed quite a few times and i am finally now here in march of 2023 i'm going to go through customs and passport control in a second and i'll speak to you afterwards Orlando International Airport, MCO, you can see the American flag there behind me. 
the Hyatt Regency Hotel as well, which my friend Eddie actually stayed at last summer when he came and said a good thing. So maybe one day I need to try it out. I don't know, I'm just so, so excited to be here. Like I said, the flight was very smooth. Everything just went very smoothly. And I don't know, I've always wanted to do a solo trip to Walt Disney World. And this is my first time doing it. This is my very first Walt Disney World Florida solo traveling trip. As I mentioned earlier, this trip originally was booked quite a while ago in the beginning of 2021, actually. I want to say in April of 2021 was when I originally booked this trip. And originally it wasn't meant to be a solo trip. It was meant to be me and another friend. And then because we couldn't actually do the original dates because of COVID, um, then it kind of just uh, got postponed. We're still going to do that trip one day, that friend of mine and I. But um, yeah, it kind of uh, got postponed again and then eventually it just ended up being a solo trip and I am so excited about it. Like I said, it's been something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I go to Disneyland Paris solo on my own quite a lot and yeah, it's going to be amazing to experience this amazing just city and of course mainly Walt Disney World. I am only going to be in Walt Disney World on this trip but yeah, I've got 14 days as well which has it's been a long time since I've been here for 14 days, two whole weeks. But because I had to postpone this so many times, including the last time I had to postpone this was actually in January. So this was originally meant to happen in January of this year, two months ago. But as most of you know, my mom ended up being a hit and run accident, a very terrible accident. She had to have emergency surgery, a hospital stay, etc. So obviously I had to postpone this again from January to now. She's doing much, much better now. The recovery road is still long, but obviously she's past that really delicate, scary stage, which would have been the first couple of months of the surgery. But there you go. <laughs> I cannot wait and yeah, I want to show you a little bit of the area first before we go to Mirsconet because Magical Express unfortunately is no longer a thing. Last time I was here in February of 2020, they still had the Magical Express. My aunt and cousin and I enjoyed it and I used to use the Magical Express every single time on my previous trips to Walt Disney World. This is my first time not using it because it just doesn't exist anymore. Mirsconet, however, I believe is the exact same thing. It's just you have to pay for it. It was something like $15 for return. Not bad. It's just not going to be magical. It's not going to have the Disney element on it which is fine but like I said before I even head there I've got my luggage here it's very warm so I've taken my hoodie off got my two suitcases you can now see exactly what I traveled with one small carry-on one suitcase here and I've actually got some cute stickers on them as well so I recognize them because it's just a black suitcase I've got Nick Wilde and Judy Hopps Simba Ariel and Snow White just to like you know customize it a little bit because like I said it's a black suitcase Although, to be fair, when you're traveling to Orlando, I feel like most suitcases are going to be Disney anyway. So if you have a black suitcase, it's actually probably going to be easier to find it. In any case, um, customs only took about 30 minutes as well. Not bad at all. I was expecting it to be much, much busier because of how busy the flight was, but only had to wait in the line for about half an hour. Something interesting that happened is that we had a dog come and like sniff everyone's bags, which I don't think I'd ever had in the US before, not even just in Orlando, but any parts of the US that I've traveled to. I've never had a dog come and sniff it. And this happened whilst we were in line. Um, but it was a very cute dog and I'm not even much of a dog person. The dog was cute. So yeah, let's have a look at the area. Look at that cute fountain in the centerpiece of this area. And of course that's the hotel over there. And then look at that. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which uh, is a very difficult to ride to say. Look at that 50. 50th of Walt Disney World. It's actually only about um, two weeks left now of the 50th celebrations. But yeah, I've not been on this ride yet, so I'm really looking forward to going on this, hopefully on our first day at Hollywood Studios. I'm tempted to go inside the Disney store just for a little bit, but I feel like I might as well just wait, you know? I'm literally having two full weeks at Walt Disney World. There's no point in buying anything or even looking at anything yet, but they do have this uh, magic of Disney shop here at Orlando Airport in case you want to buy something obviously either coming in or coming out as well and look at Mickey on the floor that kind of reminds me of um, Disney California Adventure which uh, if you haven't checked out my California vlogs I do have a whole vlog series from uh, back in December of 2022 and then right across the Disney shop of course on the other side they've got the Universal Orlando Resort shop Harry Potter stuff um, yeah exciting again as I said I'm not going into Universal at all on this trip I wanted to focus mainly on Disney especially because the solo traveling trip as well it's easier just to stay in one place but I have been to Universal Studios before a number of times and I do have some vlogs for that as well and hopefully I will be able to go to Universal Studios next time I'm in Orlando which hopefully won't be too long it won't be three years like it was last time but look at all the minions here as well they look so cute it's just such a cute airport MCO I love it it's probably cute to me because I obviously love theme parks and I love Disney and I love Harry Potter and I just love I love cute things <laughs> but um, we've got the castle over there as well 50th um, logo I'm actually so looking forward to seeing what the castle looks like with the 50th um, decorations on it because uh, I think when it first got released it was quite controversial a lot of people didn't like it but a lot of people have said that in person it looks amazing I'm not even that bothered about the castle like the castle in Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom 
I, it's not that dear to me. I love Walt Disney World, but it's you know the castle. I'm not really attached to it, so I'm really curious to see what this is going to look like in person. But I am just chilling. The airport's really not that busy at all, and. I do have a Maze Connect bus to catch. I don't think there's a particular time. They haven't told me to go at a particular time. I just literally told them where my flight was, um, you know, what time it landed, my flight number, etc., from London Heathrow to MCO, and they gave me a barcode to scan. And I did receive an email actually last night that said um, if your flight is delayed or if you miss your flight or something like that, the Maze Connect barcode should work for up to 48 hours after the original flight which is good it's good to know right before I make my way towards the bus though I'm quickly gonna go here and just maybe buy a bottle of water and a couple of small bits because I didn't bring too much cash with me from the UK but I obviously did bring some for tips and whatnot but unfortunately it's only in um, hundred dollar bill so I want to kind of break a hundred dollar bill hopefully they should be able to do it here but look at that they've got loads of cute souvenirs just Florida souvenirs here as well if you want to buy something for people also look at the selection of crisps they've got going on here just in this small shop at the airport I like those the Barnum's animal crackers they look fun got the goods they're in this bag I find it so funny how they easily give you plastic bags here in the US whereas in Europe it's all about being environmentally friendly but to get the Maze Connect bus it's literally in the exact same place as it used to be with the Magical Express and so you go that way you take the elevator or the lifts one level down to level one a staff member told them to get the elevators but they're all the way at the end and there's literally an escalator here it is a bit difficult navigating two suitcases and now a plastic bag as well but I think I should be able to do it I managed but now I'm debating whether this was the right place and I maybe I should have just got the elevators maybe maybe there's a reason they said elevators and not escalators I hope I'm in the right place so it turns out you do need to get the lift you do need to get the elevator you can't just get the escalator I mean what I did was fine I just came a little bit down but I still need to go even further down to all the way down to level one and you can only do that with the elevator whilst I wait for the lift or elevator I wanted to show you this poster where health meets happiness from earaches to tummy aches Advent Health Healthcare Services help meet your family's needs so that's really cool to know right we should be going to level one now there you go we are now officially on level one that was nice and easy there's a starbucks here ahead of me and this place is now looking very familiar i was here literally three years ago in this exact location like i said this is the same place as the magical express used to be so yeah we just have to keep going all the way across to, i think to the end of this area and then i'll let you know what the maze connect situation is like okay so i think this might be the queue for maze connect me shuttle bus it doesn't look too bad but there is definitely a queue and it's definitely not quite as magical as it used to be yeah there you go it says Maze Connect Disney Area Hotels Connection so I was just gonna join the queue once again I was wrong and I have to say the sign posts were very confusing because there was a sign that I showed you earlier about Maze Connect's line being there but apparently that line was actually for um, car rentals loads of other people were also in that line who actually needed Maze and I think now I mean I can see the, one of the Maze buses outside so hopefully this is now the way, the way because this used to be this literally this exact location right here in front of me this is exactly where Magical Express used to be as well which now makes sense because um, I have been told by loads of people that the location none of it has changed it's just they don't know longer have the Disney uh, partnership attached to it so there you go Miss Connect welcome got your barcode which I do oh perfect I'm so glad I don't have to wait in that's like a really long queue because that line was long and I also am happy that I'm not renting a car because this feels so much easier Lord have mercy this place is quiet I don't think I've ever seen this area quiet before I wonder if people are just not using Maze Connect anymore or if it's just a quiet day today they told me to go to line 12 which is for AK and there you go I am staying at the Animal Kingdom Lodge on this day which I am so so excited about apparently the Animal Kingdom bus goes to Animal Kingdom Kodani Village which I believe is the DVC part of Animal Kingdom Lodge, correct me if I'm wrong, and then Coronado Springs. But um, we're in the main area of Animal Kingdom Lodge. One of my biggest dreams has always been to stay in Animal Kingdom Lodge. <laughs> and the way it worked out on this trip, I'll talk about it a bit later when we get to the resort. I wasn't originally meant to be here, but now I am, and I cannot wait. Oh, lovely, just there? Just yes. outside. Thank you very You're much. Enjoy. Thank you so much, thank you. Oh, everyone is so lovely here. And looks like the bus is here ready for us. My hair is an absolute mess, but it's nice to actually be outside now, out of the airport and feel the Orlando air. Not too bad actually in terms of the heat. Just hopping onto the bus and the aircon already feels so, so nice. Lord have mercy, now I can tell the difference. Now I can realize how hot it actually is outside. And I think I'm gonna sit on number seven because it's my favorite number. And there's no one next to me, which is amazing. Um, you can see the Muse logo there. I am very warm, but also very happy. 
the bosses are literally the exact same ones that they were just without the magical stuff as I keep saying there's no longer any Mickeys you're probably not going to get any like Disney trivia as you used to but they're still nice and comfortable so hello <laughs> are you excited to go to Disney World oh yeah amazing amazing I guess I'm just gonna relax now and wait until we get to Animal Kingdom Lodge I'm oh hello <laughs> People love it. People love vlogs here in, <laughs> in Orlando. So our driver for the day is Thomas Smith. There's a little sign that says it. He's a legend. He's hilarious. And he just came to say that the first stop will actually be All Star Sports, which I'm guessing most of the people they just you know they said hi to the vlog. That's probably where they're staying. Um, there he did say softball team. So it's a group of people. Makes sense as well, right? All Star Sports softball team. Um, he said it's going to take 35 minutes for us to get to All Star Sports, and then I'm pretty sure he's. The next stop will be Animal Kingdom. So it's interesting because obviously on that sign they put me, um, it was like it said Animal Kingdom Lodge, Kidani Village, and um, Coronado Springs. But I guess because it's so quiet, they're just kind of merging everyone the in the same area on the same bus. We've just made it to our first stop, All Star Sports. I love those white and blue stars, they're so cute. My friend Marina actually stayed at the All Star Movies Resort, not the sports one, but the sister hotel All Star Movies in 2018, January of 2018. And it was a good resort. I feel like the Valley Resorts are honestly just as good in many ways as the deluxe ones. Obviously, I am staying the deluxe one on this ship, which I cannot wait for, and I'm walking the lodge. But after this, I think we are also going to be making a stop at All Star Music, and then the last one will be Animal Kingdom Lodge. Also, the whole area behind me is now empty. All those girls more or less left. Like I said, they seem to be a whole team of like softball or something. And the driver, Thomas, did wish them a happy tournament as they got off. So I'm guessing they are here for a proper tournament, which is exciting. I mean, imagine being American, living in the US and just coming to Walt Disney World to do a tournament for your school. How cool. Count of three, let's all say hi to Mickey. Count of three. Hi, Mickey. One, two, three. Hi, Mickey. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, that's just sad. The last person on the bus, the last passenger on the bus, shall I say, just left. Oh my god, there's a Toy Story bus there. Hopefully you can see it. Oh, that's so cool. Anyway, it's literally just me now. I'm basically having my own private bus with Ms. Connect to go to Animal Kingdom Lodge. We're at All Star Music now. Like I said, the last person who I'm guessing was a solo traveler just got off. This is crazy. I've never experienced this before. With the Magical Express, it used to always be almost completely full. I guess because it was like a free service that was just included if you stayed on Disney property. But yeah, but that's All Star Music. It is reminding me a lot of my All Star movies. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. And they just said less than 10 minutes on Animal Kingdom Lodge. Can't wait. That's Animal Kingdom over there. You can see some parts of Pandora up there. Oh my god, this is so exciting. We're getting close. Welcome to Animal Kingdom Lodge. Camp Lodge. And here we are. Animal Kingdom Lodge. That's the entrance of it. Jambo House. There's a balloon up there as well. Oh, poor balloon. I think it's a frozen one. But yeah, let's head on in. Look at the floor. The floor looks cute. And then, of course, they've got a welcome home sign because it is a DVC resort as well. And there we are. There we are inside the beautiful, gorgeous lobby of Animal Kingdom Lodge. I still remember the very first time I saw this. Must have been in 2017 and I do have a whole vlog series from that year as well if you want to check it out. It was quite a fun one actually. But yeah, I remember how amazed I was when I first saw this lobby and now I'm actually staying in here. Who would have thought? Not me. At least not anytime soon. I thought it would be a while until I finally would get to stay at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Anyway, it doesn't look to be very busy. The reception area is over there for check-in. Um, I could have checked in online or on my Disney experience, but because obviously I'm coming all the way from the UK and I, I just prefer talking to a person personally. But I think for a lot of people, if you prefer just doing it on the app, you can do so. So yeah, I'm gonna head here, check in and speak to you later. Just wanted to show you as I'm checking in, 
these beautiful tapestries they've got going on on the back side of the check-in desk. It's so, so cute. Also, I have to say the check-in process already has been such a pleasure. The cast member looking after me, Morgan, her name is, and she's on the college programme. She's been fantastic. We've just been chatting and, yeah, she's just gone to get, I think, the key sorted. And we should be heading off. And we spoke about the restaurants as well. She asked me if I've got reservations at the restaurants in this hotel, and I do. This is a spoiler for you. I'm actually going to be hopefully dining at all three of the sit-down restaurants here over my stay here. So Sanar, Jiko, and Boma. Two of them I have already done. I have eaten at Sanar a number of times. I think two or three times. Um, Jiko I ate at in 2017, and Boma I've never done. So uh, look forward to those coming up in the vlogs. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, there you is go. it okay if I... Do you want to say hi to the vlog? Yeah. Hi. This is Morgan, she's amazing. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, and I've just got been given a first visit badge because it's my first time at Animal Kingdom Lodge. It's just so cute. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. So I'll go ahead and let you know where your room is. Oh, amazing, thank you. So the lovely Morgan gave me this map, and I am in room 4382, which is here. As you can see, and I think we're here, so I've got a bit of a way to go. And I told her I'm not normally very good at directions, but we're going to give it a go. I think I'm meant to go down there and then take the elevator a couple of stories up, so we'll see how it goes. So I'm just walking on my way to where I'm apparently meant to go, and Lord have mercy, there's already animals on the way. There's a um, zebra there. Hopefully, you can see them and on the other side. You guys know how much I love giraffes, they're some of my absolute favorite animals. And it's just so cute how you just casually see them on the way to your room. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I want to cry. This is so adorable. I just, I can't believe I'm going to be living with giraffes and zebras and other animals under one roof, I suppose. I mean, they don't have a roof. They just live outdoors. But it's pretty cool that we're going to be staying in the same place. And you can see a zebra just coming by as well. The giraffe seems to be eating and I think there might even be another giraffe. Oh my God. I could watch this all day. Lord have mercy. Can you see that other giraffe? coming through look how beautiful they are just so majestic and tall and handsome all right well i'm in the lift found the lift look at that all the restaurants we're only getting one level up so yeah there you go level four i think the lobby area i guess was level two, uh, three that's the lift i was just in and look how beautiful everything is just i'm gonna have a blast exploring this hotel because i have been inside here a number of times but only to go to the restaurants sanar and jiko i've never obviously stayed here i've never gotten to explore the rooms and all the areas of it so i'm gonna have an amazing time staying here in the next 10 days and yes i did say 10 days because the last four days i am switching hotels and you're gonna have to wait to see where i go later on but here we go we're at my room number now 4382 I've got my card my hair's an absolute mess I have obviously been traveling all day um, she wrote Sam for me as well on my card again big shout out to Morgan so yeah let's uh, head on in let me turn the lights on oh my god okay wow lord have mercy I love the music they've got going on Nasseri family very cute disney's animal kingdom lodge welcome love all of all the details over there and just oh, everything i've obviously never stayed in an animal kingdom lodge room before so this is so cool and we've got two queen size beds even though it is just me that's nice i might just switch beds over the next 10 days that i'm here look at that look at that artwork over there this is cool. I really like the vibe of the room, the colors, the kind of wooden vibes. I love the wooden floor as well. I'm very much a wood person. I prefer anything to carpet personally. I just don't like it when it's all carpet on the floor, but that's just a preference thing. So this is amazing. Love the lamp, really cool. We've got a mirror here so we can see just how tired and knackered I look. Oh, Lord have mercy, but look at that. Oh my god, I did not expect this. Whoa, okay, so let's see if we can, yeah, head out into the balcony very quickly. It's funny, as soon as you step out, it becomes quite hot and humid, so like the room at this time of evening, and it is currently 7.45, yeah, the room is colder than the outside, and I've just seen a daddy long leg here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, it's one of those flying things. Okay, it's outside. We just need to make sure it doesn't get into my room but I did not expect to get such an amazing view now I'm not sure if this is a savannah room view or not I presume it kind of is because this is a savannah I didn't pay for a savannah room um you know stay I just booked a standard room but sometimes I think you can end up being upgraded or just having a partial savannah view which I think that might be what I have at the moment I'm not so sure 
but um yeah i mean there aren't any animals here at the moment but i can definitely smell animals so we will have to keep an eye out over the next 10 days to see if we might be able to spot some from our balcony and we're on the fourth floor like i said and this is a fantastic view you can see the sun's about to set as well so yeah really really cool first look into the room i'm gonna head back in now so like i said it's currently about 7 45 pm florida time in london it's like past midnight <laughs> so i am tired but i think i'm just gonna just freshen up a little bit in the next 10 15 minutes or so and then hopefully head downstairs because i really want to check out their quick service restaurant tonight because obviously it's just difficult you're staying in an amazing beautiful resort like this one and i'm working at large sometimes you want to spend you know more time inside your resort but also it's been a few years since i was in walt disney world so i also want to make sure that i go to the parks and make the most out of the parks as well so i'm a little bit stressed as to how i'm going to navigate it all i think i'm going to try and just do it a little bit differently than i've done before where i've just mainly done parks because obviously this is a dream resort for me and my next resort for the last four nights will also be a dream resort i am going to try to i need to remember to actually spend some time at the resort as well but just with the rough schedule that i have for the next two weeks i think tonight might be my only chance of eating at the quick service restaurant here at animal kingdom lodge which i believe is called the mara maybe and i've looked at the menu and it looks really good so i really want to make sure that i head down there whether we get the food and bring it back up or eat downstairs i'm not so sure yet but i probably do need to get some food for dinner even though i already had lunch and what did i have on the airplane i don't even know anymore but i'll speak to you once i'm heading downstairs and also if you want a full tour of this room uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel because they will be coming like after i've done the whole vlog series i'll be doing more you know specific individual style vlogs hopefully of different things in walt disney world such as hopefully a full animal kingdom lodge tour if i manage to do it it's a little later it's actually 9 p.m at the moment i've come back down to this wonderful beautiful lobby I would love to come here during Christmas time because I believe I believe Animal Kingdom Lodge has one of the best Christmas trees but apparently the best one of all is Wilderness Lodge's Christmas tree so one day I will have to come for the festive holiday season fun fact for you originally this trip was meant to happen in December or sorry November of 2022 no yeah definitely not 2022 originally this was meant to happen in December of 2021 so we'd booked it in I want to say April or May of 2021 in hopes that we'd be able to come in during the Christmas season of 2021 um, as it turned out we probably could have come because by that point the US borders did open to the UK but you know as it got closer to it my friend and I just weren't sure if it was gonna happen or not so we thought let's postpone it anyway which is what we did we postponed it then to last year December of 2022 but that soon became apparent that I wasn't I wasn't gonna be able to do that the timing just didn't work out especially because obviously as you saw I went to California so then we had to postpone it again and basically what we ended up doing is to instead of postponing it this time around we just said well my friend was like we can book another one like another trip in the future um, to try and do what we were trying to do originally for like a Christmas season and then I managed to turn that original booking to where I am at right now basically so that's it big shout out to disney for sorting everything out like i've been on the phone with them quite a lot over the past two three years and i am now finally here i cannot get over this lobby though it is stunning and look there's a little bridge up there as well there's some people taking a photo on there like a selfie i wonder how you can go on it but yeah very cool i just love all the details the little details the the woodwork everywhere it is stunning. I rang my mom when I was in the room for a little bit and we chatted just before she went to sleep, obviously because it's quite late in London. And I showed her a bit of the room and she loves it. It's very much her style as well. So yeah, it was great. I feel like hopefully one day I might be able to convince her to come and stay here, but I have no idea where I'm going. I know that I want to go to the Mara. I did have a look at the map and it's definitely on the other side of where I am at. So my room was on that side and it's about a five minute walk to the lobby from my room look at this gorgeous fireplace here there's just so many cute things to see but yeah i don't i might have to ask somebody how to get to the mara because i don't want to eat too late and i also want to try and get an early night because i am tired and i want to try and make the most of jet lag and hopefully wake up early because tomorrow is magic kingdom day aha i've just found a map here very convenient which should hopefully tell us how to get to the mara so you are here we're in the lobby area um you've got all the main parts of the hotel here including Boma, Jico, etc. The Mara, there you go. The Mara quick service restaurant, that is number six. So if we are here, six isn't too far. I just need to do 
that, but I don't quite know what that is. So I think before I inevitably get lost, which is probably a good idea to come inside the shop and have a quick look at some of the merchandise here. Look at these giraffes, very cool. Oh wow, this shop is much bigger than I remembered it to be. I don't know if it's changed over the past few years since I last came here, but this is big. And they have loads and loads of merchandise, some that are very much unique to Animal Kingdom Lodge and just Animal Kingdom, uh, the theme park, look at that some little toy animals, we've got some snakes there, giraffes, uh, some t-shirts, apparel, a Kuna Matata. Oh, that's cool, that's a spirit jersey, very similar to the spirit jersey that they sell in Disneyland Paris, except obviously this one is just a Lion King one that says a Kuna Matata on it. Got a leopard print spirit jersey here as well, Walt Disney World. Not really my vibe, but it is cute. This one's nice. Yeah, I like that, I like the pattern on Mickey's uh, little silhouette. I like that there's a giraffe. Yeah, this is cute. I might even have to think about that later, but we're not doing any shopping today. just wanted to have a quick look. Oh, these ears are beautiful. Oh, wow. I've never seen these before. Look at that. Very cute. This place is huge, though. Like, I am a little bit overwhelmed. I was just hoping to come into a very small shop for a little bit. Oh, my God. Look at these aliens. That's cute. But yeah, there's a lot going on here. Oh, these are gorgeous. Oh, wow. Look at their outfits. Oh my god, these dolls are phenomenal. I don't know what this is from. They seem to be uh, $60 each though. All I can tell you is that they are gorgeous. Like, the details on their dresses as well, stunning. And then I've spotted some more ears over here. They've got loads of ears here. Look at this one, this fluffy one. These ones I've never seen before. I mean, Lord have legit mercy. It's gonna be an exciting 14 days. Ah, oh, they've got the Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary spirit jersey. I think this might be a newer one that was released recently. So it says uh, it's got the castle here, Walt Disney World 50, and I really like the tie-dye vibes. In fact, I might even get this. Again, this is only my very first shop that I've entered. We've got 14 days to decide what we're gonna buy or if we're gonna buy anything, which obviously we will. It's just, it's just a matter of what we're gonna buy, not if we're gonna buy anything. Because we definitely are gonna be buying some pins and looks like they've got some 50th anniversary pins left. Maybe only Chippendale ones, which is fine because I do love Chippendale. So we are gonna have to come back to that. And we've got some 2023 pins here as well. That's fun. They've got Edna Mode. Very cool and some more pins over here hopefully you can see at least something that you enjoy on here guys and then again i've spotted another pair of ears that i've never seen before and this one is adorable oh my god i didn't expect it to be zootopia or zootropolis whoa is it meant to got like a flower on it it's not flower sorry a butterfly wow literally it's a butterfly is it meant to be for I don't know, is this meant to be for the Festival of, um, not Festival of the Arts, what's the other one? Oh, it's an Easter one, I've got it. So I thought it was meant to be for Flower and Garden, but it's like, it's got bunny ears, so it's kind of meant to be an ode, an homage to um, the girl from Zootopia. What's her name? Judy Hopps, maybe, or just different rabbits, because we've got Thumper as well. Oh, this is adorable, this is very cute. And I like the little butterfly detail on the ears as well. Love it! The cool thing about most of the resorts at Walt Disney World is that in all their shops you can get quite a lot of like food items as well. They even got, look, Duke's mayonnaise, love it. So yeah, loads of like basic needs that you might have. There's Pop-Tarts, there's bread, there's toast, etc. Cookies, um, they've got quite a lot of medicine, some lollipops, and then they've got fridges here where they have ice creams, they've got frozen pizza, there you go. Um, tater tots a very American thing we've got waffles there's a lot going on so if you just want to you know get something yourself and cook something in your I guess I guess DV series I think that's the one I actually think that's why it's got quite a lot of things here because Animal Kingdom Lodge also has a DVC part Kidani Village I believe that's why they have um, loads of things to buy because people that stay in DVC they've got a full-on kitchen and they can make stuff but with that I'm gonna actually leave um, leave the shop because I am getting quite hungry look at that look at that Minnie's looking quite interesting here um, yeah I'm gonna leave the shop I want to find the Mara and get some food I am gonna hopefully come back to the shop and have another look look at all the lounge flies guys oh my eyes are going everywhere yes uh, let's go and stopping again another pair of ears it's like oh there's got so many cool merch here right let's get some food okay well a lovely cast member showed me the way towards the Mara but this is Jiko over here. I just went past it. Can't wait to eat there in a few days' time. We've also got Boma, I think, on the other side. We can hear the water, which is so nice and relaxing. This is really cool. This does not feel like at all like I'm in Disney. 
it just feels nice and relaxing and i think that might be the main swimming pool over there which i'm not going to get close to because i think there are still some people in it and the mara should be this way around yeah there you go you've got the sign that says keep going that way so hopefully we're not too far now it's a pretty big resort though animal kingdom lodge never realized i probably should have i mean it's got three major restaurants phenomenal restaurants as well obviously as i said i haven't tried boma yet but the other two are some of the best that i've ever tried here at walt disney world and i think this might be it this might be the mara the quick service location here at animal kingdom lodge so let's have a look at the menu firstly i love how the mara they've got giraffes as the ace that's pretty clever um breakfast that's not what we're doing lunch and dinner choose your adventure classic fare or cuisine with african flair hmm and more about the flair they've got baker cheddar burger um, chicken strips, pulled pork sandwich, nah, none of those things, three things, they don't really sound exciting to me. South African vegetable bowl, uh, so shrimp bowl, oak grilled chicken bowl, Marrakesh falafel platter, that sounds good as well, grab and go sandwiches and salads. Okay, I feel like we should probably just head in and have a look to see what, just what appeals the most to us. I love it. I still can't quite believe that I'm actually staying at the Animal Kingdom Lodge, so whenever I see the logo for Animal Kingdom Lodge, I just have to take a moment to appreciate being here, but oh, aircon, lordy, this is nice, loving the ceiling situation going on, it actually seems again pretty quiet. I guess this is where you need to go to get some food, they do have some pastries here as well, I think they even have the zebra domes which are meant to be very famous, I don't know if they have them at the moment but apparently they are meant to have them here, those chocolate chip muffins look delicious, that chocolate chip uh, Mickey cookie, we're gonna have to try quite a lot of these hopefully in the next 14 days, look at that, everything just looks fantastic. They seem to be doing some flatbreads here, which sounds interesting. Not sure if I'm going to get it tonight. And then that area is just all the basic stuff like chicken strips, etc. Which again, I don't know if I'm going to go for that tonight. Um, and then they've got all these bowls here. Hmm. I'm going to have to decide and get back to you. Okay, so finally I actually have to order there. So before I go there, I'm going to have to get all the bits and bobs that I want as well. So if I want any water, any desserts, you go and then pay for it. And then you collect it there. And I have just found the zebra domes there you go they are for 59 dollars and i have heard such good things about these that i really have really high expectations i mean people have told me these are life-changing like every walt disney world vlogger that i watch raves about these so we're gonna have to try them all right so i've got my table here table number 33 i ordered everything that i needed which you are going to see in a second it's a bit like nando's which is so cool so obviously you can get it to go if you wish to and I mean, I, I thought about doing that, but I think it's better to just experience the actual location. I've never been to the Mara, and it's so different to how I imagined it. Like, it's in photos, but it's just bigger, and it's it's just nice. It's really nice. So I want to actually experience eating here. Maybe if I ever come here again, I might take it to my room. But, um, yeah, so basically, you order at the counter, and any of the hot foods that you want, um, they will then bring it to you. You get given a table number, like I said, for me, it's 33. And then, a bit like Nando's, you just sit and it comes to you. So it's a bit of a step up from a regular quick service, I would say. Anyway, we've got the zebra domes here. And I know it's probably not right to have your desserts first before your main food, but because I'm still waiting on my food, and I'm just so, so curious about these zebra domes. I did not expect to be eating them tonight at all. I completely forgot even that they did them here at the Mara. Oh, they smell good, nice and chocolatey, and I, I do love chocolatey desserts or chocolatey food items because for me this is going to be my starter, <laughs> lord have mercy. I mean people rave about these guys, like a lot of people say you should go to Boma just for the zebra domes, which I don't understand because I mean go to a full on buffet restaurant just for these and you can get them at the Mara anyway, so I don't really know, so I, I like I said I've got extremely high expectations, here's a closer look at them, yeah it looks, it looks good and they're quite cold as well as I expect them to be cold. I mean, obviously they were in a fridge, but I mean, they're lovely. They are really delicious actually, but I don't think my life has changed. I have eaten better things for sure, even in Disney World, but I mean, they're nice, they're nice. Let me, let me, let me continue eating because I feel like one bite is probably not the best to judge of it. Okay, I took another bite. So I have now finished my first zebra dome and I am starting to get the hype now. They are delicious. It's like a mix of chocolate and vanilla and some kind of moussey texture as well. It's a taste that I've never tasted before. So it's not like quite how you'd imagine it to be. It's not as basic as you would imagine it to be, even though they look quite basic, right? They just look like there should be some chocolate kind of mousse, but yeah, they are delicious to be fair. 
I understand the hype now. Wow. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna have to put the zebra domes away now and don't worry, I'm gonna get back to them because they were delicious. I almost feel like something's happened to me because with the first bite I wasn't quite sure, but now I feel like I've got some kind of magic element in me. They've definitely put some kind of magic inside these to make them taste so good because the ingredients are just so simple like you know chocolate mousse white chocolate a bit of caramel something that i've definitely had before many times but this one definitely tastes better than any i've ever had anyway my um, actual dinner has arrived now my hot food and i went for the chicken bowl in the end it's um chicken thighs with some rice some salad some kind of cream they've got some olives on the side as well which looks really good um some avocado i think sour cream etc it's a pretty hefty bowl to be fair and it smells lovely and I, like I said I wanted to try something that is unique to Animal Kingdom Lodge rather than things that you can get anywhere else so I love the chicken strips here at Walt Disney World I've tried them before and I will definitely try them at some point throughout my stay but from the Mara I feel like it made sense to get something different I was arming around between the chicken and the prawns but in the end I love chicken thighs right and the chicken thigh element kind of won me over so I've got my cutlery which you get yourself and again it weirds me out a bit that everything's plastic I'm not even one to be like oh you shouldn't use plastic obviously because I feel like it's hypocritical because I'm not the best example myself I try my best to be as environmentally friendly as I can be but at the end of the day I'm not going to be like oh you know nobody should you know do this because I understand that it, you can never be perfect right so I'm not going to preach about it however there's just so much plastic in Walt Disney World and just in the USA. You would never see this in Disneyland Paris. Everything is either wooden or like reusable plastic stuff. So it's just interesting to me how far behind they are um, compared to Europe. In any case, I am going to try this delicious looking bowl in front of me because I'm very, very hungry. And <laughs> if I don't do this, I'm going to just continue eating those zebra domes and my body needs something a bit more nutritious, I think. Let's give it a go. Mm, okay very flavorful the chicken is beautifully cooked i like the sauce it's kind of quite garlicky the rice is all right it's kind of it's got a bit of a couscous vibe to it even though it's definitely not couscous it's rice let's try it with some of the salad tomato the salad is really fresh i love the salad i didn't expect to enjoy the salad probably even more than the chicken but i feel like just overall the dish is brilliant everything everything on this bowl is doing what it's meant to do so the chicken tastes lovely the sauce i love the rice is probably my least favorite not even because it's bad it's just it's not it's nothing too exciting for me personally but um as a whole it works phenomenally and i cannot wait to eat it 20 minutes later i have finished my bowl and i am very very full that was very filling they gave me quite a lot of chicken as well which is really good value because the price for this, let me just double check. So for the chicken bowl that I got, it was $12.99, uh, so about $13. And like I said, you get a lot of chicken. It got to a point where I was like struggling to finish the chicken. Um, but I did in the end because it was lovely. I really enjoyed the chicken. I enjoyed the um, kind of, it's called, a, let me just check, a chemula sour cream. So it wasn't your regular sour cream sauce. It's a specific kind of sour cream which is why it was quite garlicky and I could taste some cilantro as well. There was definitely some other bits and bobs in that sauce too. I'm not really sure what else was in there, um, but I liked the garlic flavor of it and I just enjoyed it with the chicken. I thought it, it went really well. Um, I loved the salad on the side. It was much fresher than I expected it to be. I don't know what I expected, I think because it's like theme park. I mean, I know, I know we're not in a theme park, we're in a hotel, but the hotel is, is a theme park hotel. I just didn't expect the salad to taste so fresh and it did and I loved it. Like the salad was probably even nicer than the chicken and that's surprising to say because I love chicken and I specifically love chicken thighs and these were chicken thighs like dark meat and they were delicious but the salad was even better than the chicken how weird is that um, yeah really delicious yeah, the salad had some cucumbers in there tomatoes there was some olives there um, quite a lot of just like greens as well I even spotted a couple of like little beans um, that tasted nice so there was a lot going on on that dish and the rice actually was nice too I didn't mean to offend the rice just in case you think I hated the rice I didn't hate the rice it's just I didn't feel like the rice had anything to it compared to everything else on the on the bowl I think I was maybe expecting a little bit more flavor from the rice but having said that it was still a delicious meal and I am so full like to the point where I've just been sat here for the past five minutes thinking how am I gonna move and I've still got two zebra dogs which I'm definitely gonna take to my room and maybe eat later tonight or tomorrow morning I mean ideally it'll be tomorrow morning as a little early breakfast before I head into Magic Kingdom but I feel like yeah I'm just gonna get tempted and probably eat them tonight look they're just they're here looking at me they were delicious the zebra domes 
Somebody tell me, how do they make these? Because again, let me just read the ingredients. So it says the zebra domes, ingredients, zebra mousse, which is apparently caramel, chocolate, coins, sugar, egg yolks, gelatin, um, amarula liquor, heavy cream. Okay, maybe the heavy cream is what's doing it. Um, zebra glaze, which is the white chocolate, heavy cream butter, loads of butter. Okay, now I'm starting to understand. Um, dark chocolate ganache, dark chocolate, heavy cream, um, invert sugar, milk butter, yellow sponge, sugar, wheat, egg, white, soybean oil, canola oil. Okay, so basically there's a lot of oil, there's a lot of butter and a lot of cream in here. And that's why it tastes delicious. I've got my two zebra dumps to take. I also got myself some apple juice with my meal tonight. But with that, I'm going to slowly but surely leave the Mara. Hopefully, I'll be able to come back at some point in the next 10 days. But that was lovely. Like, I highly recommend the Mara from my one experience anyway. And it's nice that they had a variety of things as well. So obviously, I went for the chicken ball, which was on the like African section. Um, but they did also have normal cheeseburgers, your um, chicken strips. Um, they had like a flatbread section as well so if you have picky eaters or if you just fancy something that's a bit more you know natural to you something that you've eaten before you don't want to try something new then you have that option as well so there you go oh, look at these buildings I still like is this my life am I genuinely staying here I feel like I'm in a dream obviously the past couple of months have been really difficult and this feels just bizarre am I in the right place that's Juco yes this is the right place right I'll speak to you <laughs> Hopefully I won't eat them until tomorrow, but I'll speak to you next when I'm in my room. Well, I came back to my room from the Mara <laughs> that night and I must have been so tired that I forgot to end the vlog. But I hope you've enjoyed this travel day vlog. Please make sure you are subscribed and put the notification bells on as well because I'll just be posting whenever I can. I'm not going to have a particular schedule. It's just whenever I get the vlogs edited, they'll be up. So if you want to be notified, make sure you are subscribed and put the notification bell on. Yeah, I can't wait. Can't wait for the next two weeks at Walt Disney World. There's going to be loads of new adventures, loads of adventures that I've already done before be visiting some old favorites so yeah make sure you are coming along thank you so much if you have watched it this far though it's been a long journey i know and i'm pretty sure most of my vlogs will be quite long as well so <laughs> i appreciate you guys thank you so much i'll see you in the next one bye bye